we have another Queen of the Mayans MC qualifier in the bank. This one has been done and dusted. And I've just noticed I've spelt qualifier wrong in the fucking poll. So apologies for that, guys. Apologies for that. But forget about that. We're here to discuss who got through to the next round. Was it Laura? Was it Soldad? And there was a comment from Sam saying, who the fuck is Laura? Question mark LOL. And you know what? I think you can be forgiven for not knowing who Laura is. I think the Mayans has got like a really fucking bad habit of just bringing in characters and not developing them and then they just kind of disappear or die and we're supposed to care about them and we don't. So if you don't know who Laura is, she is... She's the, the sister of the gay brother. She's got two brothers. One's gay, David, and uh, the other one is El Palo. Uh, there's lots of scenes. I say lots, lots of scenes. Not really lots, but she does get visited from um, Taza in season three. So if you don't know who Laura Plus, she shoots and kills her brother, El Palo, and then tells Taza to leave her alone. And that's kind of the last we see of Laura. I believe she's got a son also. But yeah, there you go. So if you didn't know who Laura was, now you know who Laura was. And, um, you know, to be honest here, both of these characters are really poor. Not a fan of Laura. Not a fan of Soldad. If we're basing it on looks, then I can see why Laura won with 78 but well if we're basing it on looks she probably should have won 100 percent unless you're into midgets you know i'm not going to judge anybody that is a subscriber that is a fan of this channel you can like whatever you want but personally if we're basing it on looks i would i would uh, have to vote for laura myself but if we're basing it on characters then i mean it's pretty much a toss-up i don't think either of these characters are special and i wouldn't expect either character to get past the next round but it will be Laura that advances she will move on to the official round one where she will be up against Erin obviously um the sister of I can't even remember what's the fucking main chick called oh god I'm having an absolute that's an uh, how, how can I not remember the, what the main chick's called Emily yeah that's the one em, Emily's sister so yeah I mean I, I would expect Erin to win that but who knows? Who knows? Now, we will be moving on to the last qualifier. It's going to be Dita versus Celio. Again, everyone should know who Dita is. People might not know who Celio is, but there will be a picture up in the uh, the community section where the poll is. So if you don't know who she is after you see the picture, then I guess you'll never know. But yeah, after that, that is the last qualifier. And then we move on to round one again. I couldn't get 32 women, you know. The most I could get was 20. And I didn't want to leave four women out. So I thought rather than just do a 16 where you've got like a, a good number, I thought we'd go for 20 and just have a couple of extra qualifying matches at the start. So that's why there's an odd number. And that's why we've got qualifier matches for anybody who's wondering. But Laura advances. Soldad meets Mr. Mayhem. And up next we've got Dita versus Celio. That's it, guys. Leave a like. Leave a comment, subscribe, and get voting. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.